Georgia Electric Company has reached new heights with the successful completion of the 500 kV One Nevada transmission line, which links Nevada Energy's northern and southern power grids for the first time and transmits up to 600 megawatts of electricity throughout the Silver State. Since going operational in January 2014, the 231 mile Nevada Online has provided a renewable energy pathway from the dusty deserts of northern Nevada to the neon lights of Las Vegas. Typically the renewable generation is located in remote areas where there isn't adequate transmission, so that is really good for our business. That's because NYR and Sturgeon Electric have deep expertise in building state-of-the-art transmission lines that help support the nation's growing renewable energy industries. We've done a lot of work in the renewable area and continue to do so. That's a little bit of a roller coaster as it is dependent upon tax credits from the federal level. Senator Harry Reid, a longtime supporter of renewable energy for his home state of Nevada, helped to slow down that roller coaster long enough to secure a $343 million federal loan guarantee for the online project. In early 2011, Sturgeon Electric crews got to work, erecting 844 steel tower structures, weighing a total of 25 million pounds, along Nevada's sometimes rocky and mountainous terrain. Braving temperatures that would swing from early morning 20s to sweltering low hundreds in the afternoon, they attached 6,000 guy wires to more than 3,000 anchors drilled into 60,000 gallons of grout. The structures were made of weathered steel to blend with the soft tones of the fragile sagebrush habitat of the Great Basin and Mojave Deserts, home to some of the Earth's oldest living organisms and magnificent wildlife. We had to stop some work because of the desert tortoises. Got back to work and then all of a sudden the migratory birds started making nests in our towers. You know, then we have the sage grass we have to worry about. It is a very environmentally sensitive project. Powerful gusts of desert wind posed a hazard to helicopter pilots pulling lead lines. Uh, you know, it usually dies down late afternoon, so we get to pick up some work towards the end of the day. Okay, Angus, go ahead and build into it. Safely stringing 11 million feet of heavy triple bundle conductor at high tension might have also been tricky, if not for NYR's sophisticated computerized wire pulling equipment. With the new setups that we've got from Fleet, they can really take all the guesswork out of it. I mean, that, that thing will lock out on its own when it gets overstressed. We've dedicated ourselves for the last six or seven years to building that fleet, and I think our fleet is as good or better than anything in the, in the industry. The same can be said of the dedicated Sturgeon Electric crews. Some of the gentlemen have been out here for three years. An incredible crew, uh, very professional. They, they know what they're supposed to do and they do it. Sturgeon VP Mindy McGiff says the on-time, on-budget success of the Nevada Online proves the company is ready to play a major role in upgrading the nation's aging transmission system not only rebuild the lines that are overaged, but also initiate new lines to make sure that the transmission grid nationwide is up to the standards that it needs to be. Headstock just cleared the break over. And if the Nevada Online is any indication, Sturgeon will get the job done. Great production, good safety, fantastic project.